looking good. Let me put my lid away. Okay, so it's been cooking for about an hour on low. So now we're going to cut our onions, our potatoes, our carrots. We're going to get some mushrooms in there. <sighs> oh, and some garlic. I'm also thinking about putting either kale or Brussels sprouts in here just for that cold harvest green. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got all of my potatoes, carrots, and onions cut. I don't have my garlic ready yet, but what I wanted to do was get all of these in, but I'm going to have to take my meat out for just a little bit. Get all my vegetables cooked down a little bit, and then we'll add our meat back into our stew. Look at that. It's beautiful. It smells wonderful. I'm ready. And then once all the vegetables start cooking, oh my goodness. Uh-oh, we're losing our vegetables. It's a big pile. Look at that broth just glistening back there. See that glistening broth? Beautiful. Let's see. We don't have to do it all out, but it's going to give enough room for our vegetables to cook down. Some of those good spices are coming out too, but that's all right. All right. Now what we're going to do is just start putting our vegetables in, whatever's on top. And I did rough cut and get, keep my carrots really big, so that way if they broke down, you would still have a nice chunk. And the same way with my potatoes, so... A little height. There we go. Okay. Hi, girls. You hear me talking to myself? What am I doing? I know I dropped a piece of carrot on the ground. <laughs> I'm saying. It's not your interest, though, anymore, is it? Okay. Potatoes and everything in there. Hey, they just barely fit. So we're going to push it down. And the only thing left to put in there is the garlic. So let me get that ready. Okay, so I got my I have my garlic cloves in there. I'm going to put some fresh cilantro in there. We're going to let this cook down before we put mushrooms or any other kind of green in there. We really want this to cook down a little bit more. So we're going to put our topper on it. Let's get this going in here. Put our topper on it. Okay. Now... We are going to work with our chickens. Okay, so what do we have going on here? Well, I'll show you. Inside, we have a lemon that is now unfrozen. So we are going to cut this lemon. And Now, I'm going to do both chickens the same way, so I'm only going to show you one of the chickens as I prep it, and I can only do one at a time. I do have my oven set at 350, so first things first, I do have a parsnip and a half of a turnip in here that I found that I thought would be kind of fun for... You know, just like from the old country kind of deal. And then we'll put the whole one in there as well. I've got an onion. I'm just going to put the whole thing up in there. 
<laughs> okay, now this here, let me get the herbs in there first because I'm going to tell you, once I get my hands in this butter, it's going to be something else. Okay, so I have some chives. Let me stuff that up in there. Okay. Yay. Mmm, but they look good. And we're going to put some cilantro in there. You'd like to get in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take one orange slice and put up in there as well. And I'm just packing it. Now, the other one is a little bigger. This one is the smaller chicken. Okay. So we've got that in there. I've got a little bit of water down in the bottom, just enough. And then I'm, I'm going to get into my butter uh, paste, kind of how I did it with my seasonings. I use, like, chicken spices and all kinds of good stuff. And we're just going to rub this on it. Mm hmm I am going to take a little bit to put up on top, inside, down in the crevices, everywhere. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now I'm going to get to the second one. Now let me put you here, and I will get the second one done. Let's check my meat. That was me. Wasn't anyone knocking on the door? Calm yourself. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got our vegetables cooking. We have our meat sitting here. And my girls will not touch this. Will they? Okay, still have to get my mushrooms done. And then once the chickens start cooking really, really well, then I can make my dressing. There's my bread crumb or bread cubes. They're already seasoned and they're just wonderful. And then we'll start making our dressing once the chickens start baking really, really well. So, okay. I'll see you in a little while. You all enjoy this so far? Well, I hope so because it's very warm and it smells very good in this kitchen. Happy Yule.